Hey guys, it's Lydia here, and today we're going to be talking about this awesome Onefinity CNC machine. So, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while since my last video, and I promised that there was going to be a new machine, and here it is. This is the Journeyman 50X Onefinity CNC machine, and I've had it for about two months now, um, and it is literally the coolest machine I've ever used. It's so awesome. It definitely makes this shop a lot cooler. Um, I've been using it and making Christmas presents and uh, creating new products for my business and it overall is just super easy to use um, and it's just literally the coolest thing ever. So I wanted to share with you guys, I'm going to put some clips in here as I talk of some of the tests that I've done and some of the projects that I've engraved and cut out. I have been learning over a couple months on what bits to use and what bits not to use um, and easier ways to cut things and engrave. I finally just bought my first Amana tool bits and now the reason I bought one of them, it's a 30 degree V bit, it's because the V bits that I bought off Amazon, they were like 15 bucks, they're a bunch of tiny ones. They just didn't get a clean engraving so that's the only reason I bought that Amana tool bit. Um, and I know they're they're a little bit expensive and um, it's kind of hard to buy one because you know it's a possibility of one to break but the V-Bits I've heard are really really good so that's the main reason I bought that. Now I've been using down cut, up cut, um, a quarter inch, eighth inch bits. They are really great and I've also learned a lot on the machine that you need to make sure that your bed is level as in um, leveling your spoil board before you do anything. Um, as well as leveling your pieces if you want something to make sure it is flat. For example, like my cribbage boards, I've always flattened the top and the bottom of the board before I actually engrave on it to make sure that the thin details are even across the board. I have learned uh, many times on one side of the board being uh, deeper engraving than the front side of the board, uh, wasting materials, so definitely make sure you do your research on engraving and stuff with a machine like this. This thing's really awesome. So I'm gonna bring you guys over to the machine and just show you a little bit of what I've done and then we'll talk more about the machine. So the first thing you guys can see here is I have a dust boot now. I went through a couple dust boots and went through not having a dust boot and this is the best one I found. This was on Etsy, I believe it was like $5 for the file and then uh, I 3D printed it. I had to buy these bristles here and you just buy those on Amazon. It comes in a roll like this. I got more than I needed so you can definitely make a couple dust boots with this and what's really nice about it it is uh, magnetic so you can um, remove it and stuff to change out your bits I just have to, I would have to uh, make the rudder go a little higher to remove this but um, there's magnets under there so it's really nice and then I have my dust collection set up here I use some um, sewer pipe to connect it to my dust collection over there and it has been great I have a little remote here to turn it on which is super awesome and very easy to use it is really a great machine I have the Makita router connected to it and that's been performing very very well I bought that on Amazon sent it locally we didn't have anything in stock here but this tubing uh, came from Amazon, could not find it anywhere locally, it is 4 inch and that makes dust collection amazing. When I had to level this spoil board, um, there was no dust in the air and it just was overall super super clean. Definitely recommend making or buying a dust boot. I know Onefinity has one, um, but theirs is a little expensive and I've heard that the 3D printed versions are a lot better. So if you guys get one of these machines and you need a 3d printed dust boot let me know and i might be able to help you out with that now backing up to the big table this table is 70 inches long by 48 inches deep and this is about the minimum size you need for the 50x journeyman onefinity cnc machine it's huge i used a bunch of two by fours to build it um, and then I put a base on the bottom. I plan on putting some lasers down there. Um, that laser is going to be reviewed here soon, but I plan to move this laser down there and then create some ventilation underneath. But it's a great space for storing things, especially your materials or other machines. It's a super sturdy table. I have um, some MDF on here. This was, I had to buy a four by four sheet of MDF and then I had the Onefinity cut it off on the back. Now I could have left it, but I did need that material for a project. So 
just keep that in mind. You can make it go farther. But this is 48 inches wide by 32 inches deep. So that's the max cut area. However, you really can um, do tiling effect when you're CNCing, which means you can make uh, the engraving or cut out longer than your machine. You just have to do that in your software. And one thing that's really nice here is this touch screen. So when we power on the machine, this is the touch screen. It's super easy. We can move the machine around like, like this. Um, it's super cool and it's really, really easy to use. You can access all your files from your USB stick on here and then choose it. And then you can also choose them from here as well. You can pause and stop your machine, which is super nice. So if you have a really long um, run time, you can pause it and then leave as long as you don't shut the machine off come back, resume it. Uh, super, super easy. There is a wireless controller you can buy from Onefinity or you can buy them on Amazon with a wireless um, USB stick that you plug into the machine, which the brains are down here. And it allows you to move the machine around super easy. So hopefully I will get one of those here soon. But that's just super, super easy to use. You can also buy a touch plate, which helps you with um, getting the correct C height and to the corner of your material, which again, hopefully I will buy here soon. Just wanted to start off with the machine and test it out and see how it works. It just honestly is a beast. As you can tell, the rails are super, super thick. Um, it's a heavy, heavy machine and it can do anything as long as you have the right bits. You guys can truly make anything you want with this machine. It's really unlimited. You can do infinity projects on it, as the name says. Really, you can start a business off of this machine. It is a large chunk of money. However, you can make this money back very easily by batching out products like cutting boards. Um, it takes about four minutes to cut one of my new products that I make, and then I just have to add a round over to it, and boom, 55 bucks right there. Or cribbage board, super easy, it takes about 30 minutes to do a whole cribbage board to do all the holes and the cutout of it. Honestly, this machine is super awesome and it really just has no limit to it. It's really cool. You can engrave anything. Um, I know you can do aluminum. You can cut aluminum and acrylic on it. I have not done that yet. I do have an aluminum slash acrylic bit I can use, just don't have the material yet. So hopefully I will do that soon. If you guys follow me on my Instagram or even I do do some TikToks now. So if you guys follow me on those, you can see me using the ma machine and all the projects I'm working on. Also, again, I'm creating new products for the business and I will be talking about my new business name and everything in the next video here. But really, it's unlimited. You can, you can go from your laser engraver um, you can make things on your CNC and then engrave them, which I've done with cutting boards and coasters. And um, again, it's just a great machine. If you guys have any questions about it, please let me know down below in the comments. I am new to this machine. However, you know, if you've been here for a long time, I built my own CNC. So that was really nice for me to learn from that. And it was just jumping up to a larger machine. It's really the same concept. I had the same router. Um, it's just is really awesome and if you're not sure if you can make something on it, let me know down below um, And the software that I use for it is called easel now I have not purchased easel pro yet um, And one reason is because I don't really want to pay that monthly fee and because I started easel about three years ago Well, they um, still offered this option where you could use four days out of the month to use easel pro for free So I still have that option now if you join now you won't because they have taken that away except for those who have been using easel for a long time such as myself um, but easel pro is really really nice uh, especially with the v-bits however you can get away with using a v-bit without easel pro you just have to set your diameter of your bit to a very low um, number like 0 0.01 and it's super easy I've done that a lot if I don't want to use one of my days of the month um, so if you guys have any questions like that, let me know down below. I've been working with this thing for a couple months, so I, I really do know it uh, very well and what it's capable of doing and the background of easel and things like that. So if you're interested in it, just let me know. Uh, again, check out my Instagram and my TikToks. Um, I don't really post that much on Twitter anymore, but on Instagram, I'm always posting what I'm making. Um, and again, the new products for my small business. So. I know it's just a short video for you guys, but I really just wanted to show you that I do now have this machine. 
Um, so if any of you are coming from my channel from a while ago, uh, thanks so much for coming back. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and um, commenting down below if you're new, if what you think about the video. I'm always open to hearing your guys' suggestions and I'm always happy to hear what you think about the video. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video where we reveal the new company name and the big changes we're gonna be making here. Thanks so much guys. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.